It has been a banner year for the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum. Exhibitions for national audiences have been a particular highlight. Our traveling exhibition, Pulses, The Ideal Partner, explored crops such as beans, peas and lentils in an engaging format during 2016, which was declared International Year of Pulses by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. The exhibition also showcased Canada's position as one of the world's top pulse producers and exporters. The exhibition has already visited 23 cities with more to come. Another new traveling exhibition, Canola, A Story of Canadian Innovation, explores a truly made in Canada crop. 2017 marks the 50th anniversary of canola's development from the humble rapeseed. It also traces canola's journey from Prairie Labs to its current position as an important worldwide oilseed crop. We also worked with the Canadian Space Agency to develop Space to Spoon, a traveling techno zone that demonstrates how space technology can benefit sustainable agriculture. It is a perfect example of the science, technology, engineering and math that support the production of our food, fibres and energy sources. It also highlights the Canadian Space Agency's Earth Observation Satellite, Radarsat 2, and its cutting-edge successor, Radarsat Constellation. But the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum is far more than exhibitions, crops and livestock. Each year we produce valuable on-site workshops and national content promoting food literacy. We offer kid-friendly cooking workshops along with sessions on nutrition and food at safety. A new initiative this year sees a museum teaming up with embassies and local restaurants produce Global Tastes International Food Nights. At these monthly workshops visitors discover and delight in the taste of international cuisine. As an educational institution, the museum also works hard to raise the profile of science in relation to agriculture and food. New initiatives this year explored the use of space technologies, engineering and mathematics to support agriculture. We developed new panels for our biodigester display and we explored the importance of Canadian scientific and technological innovation in our exhibition on canola. Although agriculture and food production have been with us since the earliest human civilizations, the museum's activities are tailored to today's digital world. For example, all of our employees are asked to tweet on behalf of the museum at some point during the year. From herdspersons to communications officers, staff members share a wide range of perspectives on how food goes from farm to fork. Throughout the year, we have welcomed families, school groups and many other visitors from across Canada and around the world. We offer people opportunities to encounter live animals, see farm equipment and engage in fun activities such as baking bread and making butter. In the end, however, the museum is all about science and technology. The science behind the food we eat, the food and bioproducts we provide to the rest of the world, and the Canadian innovations around which it all revolves.